Welcome to this exciting episode of Bob the Sign Man. Um, been a little busy lately, haven't made many videos. I got some ideas for new stuff coming up. Uh, been working a lot with my new printer, the HP 365. Um, I printed out and to make some uh, warning signs. These are the W13-1 and then you know various speeds. There's one 25 and 35. And I put my cut lines on and I left go do some stuff and I was going to print for like a half an hour so when I came back I guess I put the setting wrong so if you notice the top part here kind of jacked up the border I didn't get it quite like it should be these borders should be um, uh, 0.65 which is um, 5 eighths so on the sides I've got 5 eighths no problem up here, you can see how it didn't get quite five eighths. It's more like, it's not even a little over three eighths. So that ain't gonna fly for me. So I thought, well, I'm not gonna trash the whole thing. I had eight of these already. I fixed six of them. So I had two left and I was gonna show you how I fixed those. Um, real simple fix. Uh, you know, when you mess something up, don't throw it away, you can fix it. Um, the little fixes that you do, most people aren't even going to notice it, traveling at uh, the speeds that they travel on these roads. But anyways, I'll show you how I fixed it, and it, uh, they turned out quite well. All right, I'll show you my quick little fix. So these were printed, and I haven't put the ultraviolet uh, sheeting on the top, which is a 3M product. I think it's called uh, 1170C, and it'll protect these from fading because when you print with the printer, they will fade. So I have some borders cut out. These are um, 0.625 for a 1.5 radius corner, which these are supposed to be. As you can see, the radius didn't turn out like it, it should. So what I do, I have these made up. And what I'm going to do is real simple. I just peel one of these off. And I'm going to line it up here. I can see through the transfer tape. Set it up on the corner. You can see how much that um, border line was off. Now I got the full radius and I'm still up at my 3 eighths like I should be. 3 eighths from the border to the sign blank end. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other radius corner. So now I got my two radius corners set up and I'll have to make this border a little bit thicker. And I have these already pre-cut out. These are 0.625, 5 eighths borders. And these are just long enough to do the uh, warning signs. I cut a lot of these strips from the different size signs I make. So, so if I have to repair signs or something like this happens, I, I have them. And sometimes I don't use a printer and I have to make a custom sign or whatever. Anyways, I carry all size borders. Then what I'll do is I'll just take it and I'll line it up with the top border here, here, so you can see now the border that I mistakenly did and this is the one that I corrected and I'll correct the other one and then I'll just cover it with the UV um, protection and we'll, we'll get going. So when I'm done with these, this is what they turned out like. This is the one that I messed up on the top and so the borders turned out perfect. Yeah, I know some people are like, well, that'd be good enough, but you know, like I said, good enough is never good here at the sign shop. It has to be perfect, otherwise they don't go on the road. So, you know, if you make a mistake, don't trash your stuff. Just, you know, there's all kinds of little fixes you can do. There's another one of my little fixes. All right, the clear film that goes on top of it is, um, 
This is a 24 inch sign, so I gotta roll a 24 inch so I don't waste any of it. Let me go ahead and cover the whole thing here. up the edge so it covers the whole thing evenly so both sides get coverage uh, mainly I want to make sure I get all the black areas covered because we don't want those to um, get any sun exposure this over this stuff is a real bugger to work with I found I'm trying to peel the ends over not always the easiest thing to do What I always do is I make sure I get it down even there. Cut this off. And this is a real, this stuff here is hard to deal with. I've been folding it up and I have a stack that I stack it on. I stack it between two boxes on my storage rack. Because that stuff, when you crinkle it up and throw it in your garbage can, it just wants to expand and it's just, it's a pain in the butt. I don't know how other people deal with it, but that's kind of what I do. And if my little box gets full, I just take it up to the garbage can. We'll just roll this out. This is basically like laminating it, a cold laminator. I guess you'd call it. We didn't have enough room in here to buy the machine that does it automatically. So do it by hand. Got that sheet of plastic is really no good for nothing. Stuff drives me nuts though. But anyways, so I roll this a couple times. Then I'll trim this one off. Sure, when you trim these, I found out is you always want to trim into your blade, and you don't want to have to go into your design in case your knife does a little wandering on you, like mine has to do sometimes. So if you do make a mistake, I'm gonna go into this part of the sign. It'll go into this little tab that I have here. Okay, so there's one of my signs that we fixed. There's the border, it's got the laminate over the top of it. So this is three eighths, three eighths on this side. And I'll just line it up perfect on the blank. While we're at it, we may as well just do this whole process here. Make sure you line up your rules correctly because if you don't and you turn them sideways, what's gonna happen is your mounting holes aren't gonna be the right way signpost so top and bottom it doesn't matter which these are my two sides that I have to work with that are nice and even so we'll just align these sides up perfect and roll it over you have to make a small adjustment there okay Peel this back, back. This is the backing on the diamond blade material from 3M. I just fold it over. All right. Now all I have to do is trim up the edges. So two of my edges are pretty. See that one was perfect on. All I have to do is just clean up the little corner here. This edge is nice and straight too. There shouldn't be any, yeah, nothing on that edge. Get to the corner, make our corners.
tabs. There we go. There's our sign. Fixed, repaired, and ready for placement. All right, well, there you have it. There's a little easy fix. Sometimes, like, you know, things don't always go right and you make a mistake. Um, don't just throw your stuff away. Figure out a way to fix it, you know, and if you ever find yourself in trouble, you know who to turn to. That's right, just turn to the sign man. As always, thanks for watching.